Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to the first, right, to the first uh, nightly update of uh, the Access a Trader uh, com. Well, nightly update. Hope everybody uh, had a happy new year. I want to again wish everybody a uh, healthy and happy uh, 2020. So, um, you know, date of the calendar has changed and nothing has changed apparently from, from last year. Uh, again, the market starts up uh, gaps up today. Uh, news from this morning. Uh, Trump is going to sign off on phase one. And I said to myself, well, I mean, what's OK? What's the big deal? I mean, what's the big deal about this news? I mean, this news was was out there already for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. And who cares? Right. 170 point move. Again, there's you know very little people around. You know, who's going to support this rally? Who's going to you know sell off this market? Who's going to buy these dips? Like, you know, who, who's around? Like, who's around? Everybody's still on vacation. Uh, and I felt that the majority of people, we're going to see uh, the majority of directional bias starting off next week, when, on Monday, when everybody kind of settles in uh, for, the f first, uh, for the first part of the year. And the most amazing part about today's day, and again, everybody kind of knows the final results, the Dow up 330 points, uh, S&P just went nuts, 1% move on the S&P. And you had a 120-point move on the Nasdaq Composite, which is absolutely insane. I mean, really, really uh, aggressive, insane, and whatever adjective you want to use. But the most amazing part about today's session was when the market actually gapped up. You guys remember there was very little value, okay, really, really little value. And when you looked at, for example, uh, when you looked at, for example, just the stocks that we talked about in the morning, right, you know, really in the morning, and basically, my, my, I tweeted this out before the market opened up, and I said, well, it's the first day of the year, everybody's off a third of the volume and a huge gap of, oh, and by the way, uh, we're, we're gapping into supply, right? Most of the stocks were gapping into supply, and I go, new traders, expectations, emotional levels are through the charts, we're going to kill it, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, what can possibly go wrong? And the most important part of today's session in the morning, because of everything that we talked about in the morning strategy, I said, look, look take a step back, man, this is just... Like any other Thursday, before you you know you jump off a cliff and try to land on anything, just understand this is all emotions talking, right? This is like any other Thursday. It's all about value. It's all about value. It's all about value. Again, and I kind of underscored here, uh, before you can become a better trader or try to be a better trader, you have to be a smarter one. And you know, the, the, I was really, um, I was really to the point of today. I said, well, you know what? There's really nothing that I love because everything is gapping the supply. Just let me see what happens, right? Let me see what happens. And we, we started looking at the pivots and I go, ah, really nothing, anything great, like really nothing great in the beginning, right? I looked at shop. I go, okay, shop looks okay. You know, it finally went to the end of the day. We'll talk about that in a second. Roku, I said, ah, you know, maybe there's a little bit of supply, 3780. Again, nothing great. You could see it, nothing great. Uh, everything was gapping into supply. I didn't love anything. NVIDIA, yeah, you know, 3960, 3980. Yeah, but again, maybe that one goes. Uh, Apple, and again, I thought the first move on Apple today was going to be on cash flow, right? Um, there was there was a move today. Uh, the initial move was from two ninety six eighty to about I think it was two I think it was two ninety eight, right? Somewhere around the two ninety eight. So there was like a dollar and change. And hey, caught the move. You caught the move. It's all good, right? It's all good. Then again, you can see how much value we have. I started talking about Chrome, right? So, so you could get an idea of how this day was setting up because only because everything was gapping into supply. And again, I always say this in, in every single trading day. Again, we don't trade because the market's open. We trade because there's value. And I didn't see a lot of value, right? I didn't see a lot of value at the open. I said, all right, you know what? No big deal. You know, if there's nothing today, there'll be nothing today. And slowly but surely, the market started waking up. Right. And I notice here, you start to see me. This is seven hours ago. I go, start taking sales. Right. It's going into supply. Start taking sales. And here was Apple, just to give you an idea. So here was Apple, and, and it turned into uh, something much more. You know, and a lot of you guys are still holding calls. Um, but here was Apple. So here was this 296, right? Here's this 296 
80s area, and the stock explodes right into supply, which is good, which is absolutely good. And that's where you technically need to make sales. Again, there's no guarantees they're ever going to confirm and go higher. But again, for all you guys who traded the right way, and again, this is why I always say, always keep a runner. You never know how big the runner is. And again, we'll talk about Facebook in a second. Uh, I kept the runner on Facebook. It's approaching 210 right now. We'll, we'll talk about Facebook in a second. Um, so Apple confirmed that a lot of you guys you know just it's just 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 crushing the stock. We just see we just started so, seeing Apple call volume come in the 300s, the 305s, like really really aggressive call volume, and they just absolutely exploded the stock. It actually reclaimed that 298 level, and now the stock is at almost 301 uh, after hours. Just a, just an incredibly big move. Um, incredible move, just really, really big move. This one I kind of screwed up. This one I kind of screwed up because again, I, I kind of lost my window, right? For like the whole day. So I traded this STNA, okay? And usually I don't trade stocks that I don't know anything about. So I bought this STNA and for, for me, I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, let me see what I can get out of it. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not I never traded the stock. I never, I don't know anything about it. Let me see what I can get out of it. And I was like, well, you know, watch this 42 level. It starts building this 42 level. Maybe you could do something. So it went up a little bit, came back in, went up a little bit, came back in, went up a little bit, came back in. I was thinking to myself, well, what the hell am I doing, right? I already missed probably about 90% of the, my window today. Everything's gapping into supply. What, why the hell am I in this thing? Like literally, why the hell am I in this thing? So I actually, I actually wound up losing 20 cents on this trade, which is, which is ridiculous to say, but I actually did because again, I never traded the stock. I wasn't comfortable. It was taking like forever to work out. So I wound up taking a loss and the stock actually ran up a dollar, not, not here nor there. But things got a little bit better as the market started waking up. And next thing we know, and this is kind of where the day um, got pretty damn good. Okay. So everybody see, so I put in this pivot, I put in this pivot of 209, right? 209 huge area. And the reason why I started putting on 209, I wanted everybody to kind of get ready for this 209 area for tomorrow. Okay. Because we started watching, you know, when the stock was like 208, okay, when the stock was like 208. We started seeing big call volume come in, like really, really big call volume come in. Uh, the 210, the January 210s, the 215s, the 220s. So when it got down, you know, when it got into 60 minutes support, I said, all right, let me take a shot, right? Let me take a shot. So when it got down to here, right? It was a two, yeah, here it was right here. So we got long on this remount, right? Of this 207.30s, yada, yada, yada. The stock finally takes out, it finally takes out 209. Uh, I actually sold a little more after the close. I'm holding a baby, baby runner. It's approaching 210 right now. Just really, really good. Hopefully tomorrow, uh, hopefully tomorrow, this thing could stretch out to like 11, 11 and a half, but just, yeah, just really, really strong move on Facebook, uh, on Facebook. And then we started watching, and again, again, guys, for all you guys in the live webinar, um, I, I forgot I forgot to put this on the Twitter feed, so I apologize for all you guys on the Twitter feed. For all you guys in the live webinar, you obviously know. Uh, Amazon, there was a really big pivot here, right? We started watching, I mean, there's been call buying all week into weakness, okay? And then we started seeing call buying, right, coming in. You started seeing call buying coming in on, uh, the 1900s, right, for tomorrow, the 1900s, the 1915s, the 1950, the 2000s, right? Not for 2000s, for tomorrow, but for 2000s towards the end of January. And then next thing I know, we talked about this 1984 pivot, this 1988 pivot, and now it's at 1900. Man, this thing tomorrow starts putting in a new base. And again, if the futures, for all you guys are long calls, if the futures are, if futures are going to gap up tomorrow, you know, look at the weekly. Just, just look at the weekly potential for Amazon. If the Amazon com confirms this weekly area of like 1901, 1902, this thing has a punch a shot at 1950. Maybe not for tomorrow, but then, but then again, stock was at 50 today. Why can't go up another 50? That's exactly what it did last week. So, yeah, Amazon looks really good. Congratulations to all you guys who are holding calls uh, and just doing great. So, congratulations there uh, as well. And, and the most amazing part about today's session was that the, the, the rally came, not the gap up, okay, not the gap up, but the rally today came out of nowhere, okay, it came really out of nowhere. And it's very rare that stocks go into supply, right? Like if you look at Amazon, for example, in you know, intraday, right? So Amazon gaps into supply and then starts kind of fading down, okay? It's very, very rare that with the whole macro universe gaps into supply, goes back down, sits in the middle of the range for like two, three hours, 
and then explodes, like really, really explodes into the close. And that's exactly what we saw here. So it, it really is amazing how, you know, all these years you can, you can sit there, have an opinion about the market, have an opinion about strength and weakness in an interval. And then the market just, again, continues to, you know, just destroy, absolutely destroy. If you actually look, the funny thing is, if you actually look at my Twitter feed, I would say probably around a little after lunch, right? This is when everything was like, you know, dollars lower. I said tomorrow, right? For tomorrow, it looks like beta is setting up to put a hole in the chest in the shorts. And what happened in the last hour is basically what I thought was going to happen for tomorrow happened in the last hour. So you can really see how aggressive uh, the market continues to be. Again, every single day I say to myself, man, I have to be cautious. I have to be cautious. And again, every single day, the market just completely just destroys, absolutely destroys eager shorts, early shorts, late shorts. It's just, it's just an absolute uh, destruction. It's like, it's like a locust. It literally is a locust uh, in attacking all, uh, attacking all, all bears, which is the most amazing part. But again, we all know it's not going to last. Okay. Well, we all jokes aside and say, you know, like I tweeted out, I go, wow, I'm kind of disappointed that S&P was only up 1%. I thought it was, it was going to be at least 8%. I'm obviously joking around. It's obviously tongue in cheek. But again, you, you get the sense of, holy crap, how long can this possibly last? But again, it is lasting. So, you know, going into tomorrow, man, you, you don't need to be, you don't need to be too creative. Okay. Uh, if you look at, uh, if you look at tonight's email, it's all beta. I, I, I wasn't even messing around with anything else. It's all beta. It's all names. If they confirm today's price action, this market should, you know, again, the market should at least uh, go again. So again, sometimes you don't have to overthink. Uh, sometimes we just got to react. So uh, again, let's talk about it. Uh, Amazon. I think this could be, let's start off the night with Amazon. Again, last week's high. 1901.40, right? So let's just call it 1901, 1902. Um, this thing gaps above this 1902, the opening range high. Again, look at the weekly, look at the weekly potential, folks, right? Look at the weekly potential. If this thing, any close, any close now over this 1900 area, you could see 1950. Forget about, you know, 2000, 2050, 2100, any close, any build over that 1900 area. So if, in other words, if the market for some reason gaps down tomorrow morning, any build over 1901, 1902, I think there's a shot that this thing really uh, takes off. So obviously keep an eye on that. Uh, Facebook. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.